of batch number five of HIIT SEO. More than 125 people are going to be starting this amazing journey starting today with the orientation session. Thank you so much for every single one of you for joining in this orientation session. Don't worry if you are if you have to leave at any point of time uh, during this orientation session, although I do not recommend that. This entire session will be recorded and we'll be giving you a great primer, a foundation to your SEO journey. How about we like get to know each other a little bit? How about you let me know your, I think everyone is already doing that, uh, your name and which city you're from and what do you intend to learn from this program? Of course, SEO, but why do you want to learn it and where do you intend to apply it? Pavan Giri from Kolkata. Saha Jagarwal from Pune, Sriram from Bangalore, Ashutosh from Aurangabad, Shriok from Pune, Arun from Surat, Vivek from Varanasi, Indrani from Mumbai, Amar from Tirupati, uh, Arnaba from Kolkata, Anamika from Kolkata, Anurag Delhi, Sumati Hyderabad, Avinash from Mumbai, Khalil from Hyderabad, Suresh from Vizag, Girish from Bangalore, Malikarjun from Bangalore, Kirti Vas from Chennai, Khalif from Dubai, Taran from Hyderabad, Mangala from Bangalore, Meenal from Hyderabad, Sumati from Mumbai, Gaurav from Jaipur, Amrinder from Delhi, Sandra from Mumbai, Mayapan from Chennai, Anish from Delhi, Manish from Bangalore, Raj from Pune, Mohan from Thane, Ajay from Solapur, Leo from Bangalore, Anmol from Bhopal, oh wow. Plenty of introductions coming in. All of you can just check it out yourself. Before you do that, before you type in any more introductions, just make sure in the chat box, it stands from two hosts and panelists. Change it to everyone so that everyone can see it right now. Most of your messages are only seen by me so that everyone else can also like get to know where you are from. Great. Thank you so much. As you guys can clearly see, there are plenty of people from all across the country and all over, across the world also. We have some people joining from across the world also, from Dubai, from Singapore, from Hong Kong, all of these people. So thank you very much for joining the HIIT SEO program. I am going to make sure the next 10 weeks is absolutely going to be amazing, transformational, and you are going to walk out as a confident SEO professional. That's what you will be at the end of 10 weeks. Who's excited? Just type in excited in the chat box if you are super excited to get started with this journey. Fantastic, brilliant. Okay, let me take a quick video of this because we have more than like 122 people who have already joined in. Beautiful. I've been excited. Nice. Brilliant. Amazing. Lovely. Thanks for joining in. And uh, yeah, I think we should just get started with the orientation session. So this is just like the name suggests, only going to be an orientation session. And there won't be any assignments as such. I mean, you will have certain things to do, but you won't get any cashbacks or anything of that sort. It's just like giving you guys a foundation of sorts to help you understand, right? You'll also be getting an opportunity to introduce yourself and get to know each other also on your WhatsApp groups. Believe me when I say this, every single one from the previous batches have had amazing collaborations with each other gotten together, done amazing things together. And I would strongly recommend that you guys do that too and work together during this 10 weeks and even after that as well. Okay, so let's get started with the orientation session. First of all, uh, what I want to let you guys know is what are the different things that you will be learning for the next 10 weeks. So let's go over the curriculum first, the HIIT SEO curriculum week one, which will be starting next week, uh, next Tuesday at 8 p.m. We'll be laying the foundation of SEO by learning all the fundamentals of SEO. You'll be understanding how search engines work and lay the groundwork for it. Week two will be about keyword research and keyword research is a very, very critical element about SEO. 50% of SEO is keyword research and I'll be showing you guys how to do it effectively so that you know how to find high value, easy to rank keywords using what I call as the tofu method. Week three will be all about on-page SEO. I'll be telling you guys what on-page SEO is and how to optimize your page using the 18-point checklist that will be provided to you. 
and also write SEO friendly content. Even if you have never written a word before, I will teach you. I'll make you write SEO friendly content. And believe me when I say this, I've pulled more than 500 different people out of their comfort zone and made them write amazing content by the end of 10 weeks. How many people are terrified of writing content? Just type in me in the chat box if you're absolutely terrified of writing content. So even if you are terrified, don't worry about it at all. By the end of this program, you'll be so comfortable writing content. You will be thinking, you'll be looking back at this point of time and thinking, what was I even terrified about? You will not be, you'll be confident to write content. You'll be given a framework. You'll be given a structure that you will be using to create amazingly optimized, SEO optimized, captivating content as well. Week four will be technical SEO part one. And wherein you'll be learning about site architecture and how Google's crawlers, what they're called as crawlers, you'll be knowing what they are also, what mobile SEO and what is called as AMP. You'll be learning how to implement it and what it is and how to actually use it for your benefit. Week five will be part two of technical SEO, wherein you'll be learning how to make your website blazing fast for your users and for everyone involved and optimize your website for voice SEO. Week six, will be off page seo you will be taking you will be taken on a history lesson here you will be understanding what backlinks are and how backlinks and actually the whole structure of backlinks is what made google the biggest search engine in the world today you will also be learning about google algorithms and you will also be building your first set of backlinks week 6 week 7 you'll be taking it a step further you'll be learning everything that is there about anchor text and four different ways of building backlinks and also a different perspective at looking at setting up your link building campaigns. Week eight will be about local SEO, wherein you'll be setting up your GMB profile and creating citations for your profile as well. Pretty easy to do, but still extremely effective in terms of getting results for you, your business, or wherever you are planning to apply this for. Week nine will be YouTube SEO, the second largest search engine in the world. You'll be learning how to tackle that, how to optimize your videos, how to create videos in four simple ways and upload it, optimize it and rank it on both YouTube as well as Google. Week 10 is going to be absolutely amazing. Everything will tie it together. All the things that you have learned in these 10 weeks, you'll be tying it together. You'll be learning how to do a site audit from scratch for any website on this planet. You'll also be learning how to create a realistic SEO strategy Decide on the pricing if you ever want to venture into uh, freelancing or get into a job or anything. Even if you're a business owner, it'll help you understand and determine whether whatever you're paying to your SEO employees or freelancer or agencies, is it worth it, right? And you'll also be learning how to create a very simple yet effective SEO proposal that I personally have used to close high paying clients month on month, okay? So these are all the things that you will be learning for the next 10 weeks, just type in H-I-I-T in the chat box if you are excited to learn all of these things for the next 10 weeks starting next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Okay, so let me guys, let me tell you guys how this program is structured and how this whole program will actually pan out for the next 10 weeks, right? So the objective of this program is to learn and implement SEO practically. That is the main core objective and the intention of this particular program okay now what is the other intention you think or the other objective about this program is can anyone let me know in the chat box what you think is the other objective about this program is anyone wants to take a guess nobody it's okay don't worry about it helping others good cash back okay to be a freelancer, taking us out of your comfort zone, okay? Implementing, be a better leader, okay? Fair enough. Start a website, job ready to create a community of like-minded people, taking action, sharing knowledge, SEO specialist, networking, give enough time. All of this is correct, but one more very important objective of this program for you guys is you need to use this program as a platform, as a conducive environment to make mistakes. You heard me right, to make mistakes so that you know what not to do, okay? Knowledge is about knowing what to do. Wisdom 
is about knowing what not to do. Okay, let that sink in a little bit. Okay, so it is very important for you guys to also know what not to do in your SEO journey because after this program is over, you know, we might not have the kind of support that you might get. You need to know how to figure things out yourself so that you really need to use this opportunity to make mistakes. I'm not saying that you have to make mistakes. So even if you do make any kind of mistakes, don't worry about it because that is part of your learning process. That is how you learn things. Okay, and the reason why I'm telling you this is because a lot of times when people make mistakes, they feel really bad about themselves. And the reason why this happens is because we have kind of made making mistakes and failures as a taboo, but not in this program. Okay, if you fail, if you make mistakes, if you slip somewhere, we are not going to like put you down. We are going to encourage you to come back up and learn from those mistakes as well. So that is also the other opportunity that you have as part of this program. So don't feel don't be um, apprehensive about going out there and trying new things and implementing new things as well. Okay. Now, every Tuesday, exactly like today at 8 p.m., there'll be a two hour live training webinar with a QA. Okay. Every Tuesday at 8, 8 p.m., there will be a live webinar uh, with a QA. I'll be starting the session at around 8 p.m., then the whole live session will go up to like 9 30. So, Usually it's till 9.30, 10 p.m., including the Q&A. If you guys have any doubts, any questions about what has been taught so far in that session, I'll be clearing your sessions as well. Now, after each session, every week you'll be given an assignment. You'll be given very clear guidelines and a very clear sheet as to how to go about doing your assignment. Now, the intention of this assignment is to not make it difficult for you. It is to make it easier for you to go out there and implement it. So don't worry about how difficult is the assignment going to be or how easy is the assignment going to be, anything of those sorts. I'll be teaching you exactly all the concepts that you need to be learning and implementing. I'll be teaching you guys how to go about doing it also. So don't worry about it at all. So every week after the session is over, you will be given an assignment and you will earn a cash back for completing each assignment, therefore rewarding you for your action, right? If you guys have any questions during this session, please put it in the Q&A box. Don't put it in the chat box, put it in the Q&A box because if you ask the questions in the chat box, it's gonna get lost in the, all the chats that is going to come after this. So please put it in the Q&A box. After this session is over, I'll probably take some time to like answer all of your questions and then we'll get started with that, okay? So while you're doing this assignment, if you guys get stuck anywhere, every Friday at 8 p.m., there will be a dedicated Q&A session to help you with your assignments. And this session will be conducted by my teammate Shreyas. And Shreyas, are you here? Do you want to come, come on and quickly say hello to all the 134 people who have joined into this HIIT SEO batch number five? Say hello to them. Hey guys, uh, good to see all of you guys here. And uh, we are doing this for the fifth time and every time we have done it, the program has got better. So 100% from my end, I'm making it sure that you're going to love this program. By the end of the journey, you would have done so many things that a lot of people out there have not done. So every Friday at 8 p.m., I'll be there to answer all your questions, concerns, feedbacks and everything. So I'll see you there. Great. Thanks, Shreyas. Uh, so, yeah, and Shreyas is, you, you know, he's considered to be the Rahul Dravid of this program. He's a very calm guy. He's a very patient guy. He's going to answer all of your questions. He's going to make sure you he takes you along and like help you do your assignments as well. So don't worry about it at all. And along with that, we'll have another mentor called as Jackson in the WhatsApp group itself. Jackson, if you're here in the chat box, just give a quick hi to everyone from batch five of HIIT SEO. He was not able to join us, unfortunately, for the live session. But yeah, there you, there you go. Jackson is there in the chat box. So Jackson will also be part of the WhatsApp group. And if you guys have any questions in the WhatsApp group as well, he'll be more than happy to help you. Okay, so we have enough people to help you out. And I'll tell you how to like escalate any kind of questions that you might have later on. So don't worry about it at all. You are extremely well supported in making sure you complete the assignment. Our intention is that you complete the assignment. We want all of you to complete the assignment, which is also why this program has had an 85% completion rate. Right. So don't worry about it. You have Shreyas, you have me, you have Jackson, you have other peers also who are going to come in and help you guys out to actually complete the assignment, implement SEO and actually get results from it. Okay. So great. So what 
does the cashback breakdown look like? For every assignment that you will be completing, once it is approved, you'll be getting a thousand rupee cashback. So if you complete all the 10 assignments, you will be getting a total cashback of 10,000 rupees by the end of this program. Just type in cash in the chat box if you guys are excited to learn and implement SEO plus get a cashback for implementing that part of SEO, right? So thousand rupees per assignment and our assignment approval rates are very high. In fact, like more than like 98% for most times. So like I said, the guidelines for creating and uh, implementing whatever has been taught is very, very clear. You'll be given like a sample sheet also. So you don't have to worry about it at all. As long as you're going out there, following the guidelines that is being given to you and submitting your assignment on time, you will be given your thousand rupee cashback. And if you finish all your 10 assignments, you will be getting 10,000 rupees in cashback. We'll be telling you guys how you'll be receiving this cashback as well, okay? So now there are certain rules that you need to keep in mind when it comes to assignment submission. So for each assignment, you'll be given a week's time. So after every Tuesday, 8 p.m. after the session is over, you have time till next tuesday 6 pm for you guys to complete your assignment and submit it and let me guys let me tell you guys right now let me warn you guys right now because this is the fifth fifth batch we have seen more than 500 people do this before please for your own sake don't submit your assignment don't wait till the end of 6 pm okay so many people out there they go out there, they wait for this whole thing to happen and they submit their assignments at like 5.50 p.m. Right? Because most of them, they start doing their assignment only at like on Monday or something like that. So this habit of ours never goes away from us from our college days as well, I guess. Right? Like how we used to uh, study only one day before the examination. Exactly like that. Most people do it, but don't do it for your own um, benefit. And the reason why I'm telling you is if you start your assignment much sooner, you can use the Friday Q&A session to actually go out there and clear your doubts so that you can use the weekend to complete the assignment if you want to and then go ahead and submit it well before the time, okay? So Tuesday, 6 p.m., you have seven days, but you don't have to worry about it at all. Now, you cannot submit your assignments via email. You cannot submit your assignments via email. You can submit it only via the submission form. If you are not submitting your assignments via the submission form, it will not be accepted. Okay? It will not be accepted. So do not submit your assignment via email. It is, we have seen all kinds of excuses before. So don't try to use or pull any kind of excuse. If you try to do it at like 5.55 p.m., it is the, the submission link closes at 6 p.m. sharp. It's automated. It closes at 6 p.m. sharp. If you can't make it by then, then it will not be accepted at all, no matter what. But even then, if you can't make it, you can still submit your assignment via the late submission link. But for that late submission, you will not be paid. Okay, you will not be paid for the late submission. But why would you want to go out there and submit your assignment? Because you should still be submitting because you need to complete at least eight out of the 10 assignments to receive certification, okay? So you need to complete eight assignments out of 10 assignments to get your certification. So these are some of the rules. Just type in clear in the chat box if all of these things that I just spoke about is crystal clear to all of you guys. Okay, fantastic. Some more rules. The late submission link is valid for three more days from Tuesday till Friday, 6 p.m., from the actual submission deadline, okay? So if you want to, you can go out there and submit the assignment using the late submission link. But of course, like I said, like I mentioned before, you will not be paid for the late submission. So please ensure you enter your correct student ID each time you submit your assignment. After this session is over, you will be sent a link where you need to put in all of your information. After you put in all of your information, you will be given a student ID. Okay, so once you have that student ID, make sure you use that, keep that student ID and save that student ID. And each time you submit your assignment, make sure you use that particular student ID while submitting your assignment. If your student ID is incorrect, your assignment will be rejected because we won't know who has actually submitted that assignment, right? And also, please ensure you use the same email ID you have used to register for the HIIT SEO program. Like I said, you'll be given a submission registration form wherein you'll be putting in all of your information, your name, email address, your UPI IDs, and all of those things. Use the same email ID throughout 
the entire program for the next 10 weeks. Don't change any other email IDs. Again, the, the, it can create a lot of confusions as well. Like I said before, we have a very high acceptance rate for all the assignments, but we will reject it if it is not original or incomplete, okay? You will be given very clear guidelines for how to go about doing the assignments. If it is incomplete or if it is not original, if you've copied it from somewhere, if you've plagiarized the content that you're supposed to create, it will not be accepted. So make sure it is original, it is 100% complete and submitted well within the time. As long as you do that, you're good to go, okay? Now, what are the payment terms? Payment for assignment completion will be done within seven working days from the day of the submission. So obviously we need to assess your assignments as well. So once you submit the assignment on Tuesday 6 p.m., we'll take about seven days to like go through all of the assignments, assess all of the assignments, and then process the cashback for you guys. So it will take seven days, seven working days from the day of submission. And for you to get your cashback, your UPI ID is mandatory. Your UPI, having a UPI ID is mandatory. If you don't have one, please create one. Okay, just type in, if you, everybody has a UPI ID here, just give me a quick yes or no in the chat box, right? So because, okay, great, fantastic. Having a UPI ID is absolutely mandatory. It can be Google Pay, Phone Pay, uh, and all of those things. For international st students, don't worry about it. We'll create a separate kind of cashback thing for you. And whatever it is, Make sure that uh, if you are part, if you are in India, you make sure that you have a UPI ID and use that UPI ID for receiving all the cashbacks. And in terms of the assignment approval, the decision from the team is final. Okay, the decision from the team is final. And don't try to tell us that, okay, this happened, that happened, and all of those kind of things. Don't try to, you know, bring about excuses. At the end of the day, your integrity is also very, very crucial with all of these things. Your professionalism, your integrity is also something that you need to cultivate during this program. And we'll make sure you cultivate that also. So if you have done something wrong, accept it. It's absolutely okay. Like I said, if you make a mistake, accept it. If you've done something wrong, accept it. There is nothing wrong in accepting that you have done something wrong. Okay. So if you try to like say that, oh, this happened, that happened, I couldn't do it because of that, this, please like save all of those excuses. You have heard it all before. You've seen it all before. So make sure you complete it on time. And as long as you do it, you're like good to go. Now, communication channels. All updates with regard to the HIIT SEO program will be shared on email and on your WhatsApp group. There'll be two WhatsApp groups. I'll be sending you the link to both the WhatsApp groups and I'll be giving you more information later. So please make sure that you're receiving communication from us on all channels and you do not miss any important communication from us. So make sure you join the WhatsApp groups. It is almost mandatory so that you don't miss out on things. And of course, you'll get to talk to your peers also and like, you know, communicate and like collaborate with all of these things as well, right? So make sure that you're getting our emails as well. And if you will be getting like, uh, if you're not getting our emails, make sure you like send us an email and we'll make sure that you're getting our emails eventually, right? If you have any questions, be it about the concept that has been taught or the assignment that has been given to you. What do you think is the first step that you need to be doing? Can anyone tell me in the chat box, what is the first step to solve your query that you should be doing? Ask peers, WhatsApp, says Malik Arjun. What else? Google it. Yes, absolutely. You guys are training to become SEO professionals. If you yourself do not know how to Google your questions, your problems and find solutions to it, how are you going to become a professional SEO guy? Does that make sense? Just type in MS in the chat box if that makes sense. So also the other reason why you need to be doing this is because when you try to resolve any kind of queries, any kind of issues by yourself, you kind of learn better also. How many people agree with that? Just type in A in the chat box if you guys agree with that, right? You try to learn things better. You understand things better because you are resolving certain issues, overcoming certain challenges by yourself, okay? But again, there will be certain things that they, it, your Google might not be able to help you. In that case, the first thing that you need to try and do is use the WhatsApp group to solve it. 
Okay, use the WhatsApp group to solve it. I there is uh, this guy called Frank Shamrock. He is like this MMA fighter, uh, like something like boxing basically, and he's a very famous fighter by the way. And uh, I was watching one of his interviews, and he said a very important thing, a very interesting thing, and I think that all of you guys should implement it here as part of HIT SEO program as well. So the way he trains it is he has this approach of plus minus equal. Right. So what he said is that every time he has to prepare for a fight, for an upcoming fight, he trains with three different kinds of people. One who is better than him so that he can like learn from that person. One who is as good as him, that is equal. And one who is slightly lower than him, which is minus. Right. So that the slightly lower than him, he can teach and then therefore learn things better. So you need to use that group to do that plus minus equal. Okay, in some assignments, you might have understood things better than other assignments. If you have understood it better, go out there and help people. Believe me when I say this, teaching is probably one of the best ways to learn any concept out there. One of the best ways to learn. So try to help others also as much as possible. If you don't know anything, feel free to ask it in the WhatsApp group also. And all your peers together, if you try to resolve certain things, it's going to be absolutely amazing, right? So having said that, if you still have any questions, if you still have any doubts, please make sure you attend the Q&A session live on Friday, 8 p.m. Right, Shreyas is going to be there. He is very patient. He's going to answer all of your questions, all of your challenges that you might be facing. Even if that does not help, send an email to support at sanjayshanoy.com if there are certain issues with the operational part of it, right? Say, for example, you did not receive a cash bag. Usually it doesn't happen, but there might be some problems in some places, or you might want certain things that needs to be done or whatever it is. Only then send an email to support at sensational.com and not to hello at sensational.com, which is my personal email ID. If you try to send it to me, your email is definitely going to get lost in the hundreds and thousands of emails that I get. So make sure you send it to support at sensational.com. Usually the support queries are resolved within 24 hours on weekdays, right? The support team is also comprised of humans, they also have weekends. So please make sure that you give them enough time to respond to your support tickets. Usually it's much lesser than 24 hours uh, on weekdays. If it's on weekends, in your weekends, you might have to wait till like Monday for your question to be resolved. But having said that, most of your questions will be resolved on the WhatsApp group. Of course, Jackson is also going to be there as part of the WhatsApp group. He's going to try to like help you guys out as much as possible. Your peers are going to be there as much as possible. Google is your best friend in all ways possible, especially during this program, right? So Google is going to help you understand certain things, resolve certain things. If you come across something that is uh, being said, which is slightly different than what is being taught in this program, just stick to what is being taught in this program. For the sake of making sure everybody is on the same page, everybody is on the same plane, just stick to what is being taught in this program. Don't try to like go somewhere else on a tangent and then use the WhatsApp group, attend the Q&A sessions, send an email to support at sanjayshanoy.com. Type in clear in the chat box if all of you guys are absolutely clear up until this point. Fantastic, great. So I'll be sending you two links for the WhatsApp group. Don't have to like, don't copy it right now. I'll be sending you an email tomorrow morning with all the links that you need. So don't worry about it at all. I'll be sending you the recording of this orientation session, the slide deck, all the links that you need, everything that you need, okay? So don't copy it right now. These links might not even be working at this point of time. So there'll be two WhatsApp groups. One is a broadcast group where only the admins can send messages. You will not be able to talk to each other. The other is a community group where you will be able to talk to each other, okay? So you'll be given two WhatsApp groups. So make sure you join both groups so that you don't miss out on important information, okay? So. Next thing, step one is to submit your information here. I'll be sending a link to this uh, form as well. This is the master layer form wherein you'll be like registering yourself as such, your name, your email address, your phone number, your UPI ID, and a bunch of other things as well. So please submit your master sheet and do this after you submit your, uh, I'll, I'll be telling you what to do after this session. Once you do that, please make sure you submit the master form here finish the registration and then you should be like good to go after that okay after you're done with that like i said join the whatsapp group i'll be sending you guys the links and always remember this link 
I'll be sending you this link. Don't worry about it. Always remember this link because everything related to this particular batch of HIIT SEO, you will be getting it here. You will find it here. You'll be getting the Zoom links. You'll be getting the recording. You'll be getting the slide decks. You'll be getting the submission link, the assignment link. All of those things will be updated here. This is like a place it's like the master sheet. It's, it's a simple Excel sheet where you'll find all the links, all the important information that you need as part of this, this thing. Okay, so don't worry. I'll be sending you all the links tomorrow morning. Don't worry about it. You don't have to like copy it or anything right now. Okay, now, if you guys want a GST invoice, I'll be sending you a link for that as well. So please fill up this form if you want a GST invoice and we'll be giving you the GST invoice as well, which you can claim as a tax credit for your own business if you want to. This is optional. This is not mandatory. Okay. So everybody clear up until this point, just type in CC for crystal clear. If every single one of you is absolutely crystal clear up until this point. Great. Fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, thank you so much. So now, as part of this program, you will be setting up your WordPress blog. Okay, that is what you'll be doing as part of this program. Don't worry about it. If you've never set up your WordPress blog, I'll be taking you step by step and teaching you how to actually set up your WordPress blog starting from today. Okay, so next session, next Tuesday also, we'll be doing a little bit of setting things up. So don't worry about it. I'll be teaching you everything about setting up your WordPress blog. Even if you've never done anything before, I will teach you, handhold you and teach you how to do it. Okay. Now, how do you set up your own WordPress blog and what are the different things that you will need that is required for you to set up your own WordPress blog? The number one thing that you require is your domain name. Like mentioned before, this is probably the only thing that you will need to invest in as part of this uh, program, right? Domain name. And the reason why we want, we recommend people to invest themselves and go out there and register it themselves because domain names are assets and you need to have complete control over it, right? So you need to have it in your account and not in our account, which is why we say that, hey, please go out there and register it in your own uh, GoDaddy account. And please, I'm gonna repeat this like at least a hundred times today, please register your domain name on GoDaddy, okay? Even if you already have one, I'll tell you, you'll be setting up a fresh WordPress uh, website. I'll tell you why we'll be doing that and how to go about doing it because there are different elements to why we need to set up a fresh domain name as well. It's You need to select the right niche. You need to approach the right niche. Uh, you need to approach selecting the niche in the right way. All of these things are very, very important. So. So select a domain name, register a domain name. I'll be showing you how to register a domain name today. And once your domain name is done, we'll be sending you a form to submit your domain name as well. Once that is done, you will be given access to hosting, right? You'll be given three months worth of hosting on WPX, right? So WPX hosting is considered to be the world's fastest SEO optimized hosting. So you will be getting this premium hosting free of cost but for you to make sure that your hosting is set up by next week, you need to create your domain name by tomorrow, 11.59 p.m. and submit that as part of this program so that we will help you set it up. We'll create the hosting and all of those things. We work with WPX closely so that um, all of your hosting is set up by the time we get started with it, right? So after this program is over, you know, the hosting the, that we provide is just for three months. So after this program is over, we'll give you a heavily discounted offer if you want to continue with WPX hosting, which will be on par with all the other hosting services as well. But if you want to transfer it to another host, say, for example, Blue, Bluehost or Hostinger or whatever it is, you can do that as well. And we'll tell you how to do that as well. We'll help tell you, teach you how to like do the whole migration and everything. So if you want to do that, you can do that. But if you want to continue with WPX hosting, you can do that as well. And we'll be telling you how to do that. So as part of CMS content management system, we'll be using WordPress. And believe me when I say this, WordPress is probably one of the best CMSs out there, best platforms for you to actually set up your blog, set up your website and probably the best platform for you to learn SEO on. That's why you'll be like you know, setting up it on WordPress. You will be given a premium Astra Pro theme, right? You'll have a lifetime validation for your Astra Pro license. 
you can use this premium theme as part of your WordPress blog. I'll be teaching you how to install it, how to set up and all of those things, you'll be given a bunch of premium plugins as well. So for the plugins like WP, uh, WP Rocket plus like say Rank Math Pro and all of those things, when the session actually happens, so Rank Math probably will get it in session three and uh, WP Rocket will get it probably in uh, session number five. So when the session is happening, we'll give it to you because otherwise what happens is people go ahead and like install it and all of those things happen and things might break and so many things might happen. So which is why we'll tell you how to install it properly We'll tell you how to set it up properly as well. So don't worry about it. You'll be given access to all of the bonuses as such. So domain name, hosting, WordPress themes, and plugins. Now, why set up a new WordPress blog? I know that uh, you know uh, a, a lot of you people might be thinking that, hey, why should I set up a new WordPress blog? Why can't I go out there and like actually create or implement everything that I learned? you know, as on my existing website itself, I'll tell you why you need to be setting up a new WordPress blog, right? The reason why you need to be creating a new WordPress blog is because this will be your experiment project website, right? This will be your experiment project website. If anything does go wrong, nothing has gone wrong so far. But even in that case, if anything does go wrong, you won't lose anything. Any developers in the house, any coders or developers in the house, just let me know in the chat box if you're a developer or anything. Right. So, so there is something called as develop, uh, developers might know this. So whenever they're developing any kind of applications or any kind of website, oh, quite a lot of developers here. Right. So how many people know staging and live website, right? Just type in me in the chat box if you know the staging and the live version. Right. Thank you so much. So exactly like that. Right, the, what is a staging and a live version? You, usually what happens is developers have two versions of the application of the website. One is called the staging version, which is not live, which cannot be accessed by the public. And then you have the live version itself. Now the staging version is where all the you know development happens, all the changes happen, and then it will be pushed to the live version. So that if anything does go wrong in the staging version, nothing happens to the live version, which is accessible to the public. Exactly like that, you need to consider this brand new WordPress blog as your staging website, wherein you'll be implementing everything, you'll be learning how to implement everything using WordPress, and then all the things that you will be learning, you then take it and apply it to your own website later on if you want to. But as part of this uh, program, you'll be performing everything from scratch and the reason why that we are, or the other reason why we recommend doing that is because as part of this program starting today, more than 125, 130 people, you will be functioning as a single unit. Okay. You will be functioning as a single unit and we all have to progress at the same pace, right? We all have to progress. Some might be like slower, some might be faster, whatever it is. We all have to progress at the same pace. Plus, we all have to be on the same page as well. So which is why we'll be setting up everything from scratch so that if anything happens, it becomes easier for us to solve queries because everybody's website is at the same stage of development. Does that make sense? Just type in MS in the chat box if that makes sense, right? Which is why we strongly recommend people, not recommend, it is almost mandatory that you set up your new WordPress blog, right? So it doesn't cost you anything whatever you have learned as part of this program, then you can go ahead, if you have your own website, then you can go ahead and like implement it there as well. If you don't have a website, you can continue with the same existing website as well. So you don't have to like worry about it at all, right? So that's why you'll be setting up a new WordPress uh, website. Now why, now why WordPress blog? Okay, why set up a WordPress blog? The first number one reason is that WordPress is easier to understand, especially from an SEO perspective, right? So, and also believe it or not, 40% of the internet, the entire internet, all the websites that are available on the internet is powered by WordPress. How mind blowing is that? Just type in MB in the chat box if that is mind blowing. 40% of the internet, the entire internet is actually powered by WordPress. And there is a reason why it is powered by WordPress. It is extremely easy to operate. It is extremely easy to understand. And it is actually a great way for you to learn SEO without actually breaking your head. Okay. So which is why we'll be using WordPress. But having said that, whatever you'll be learning as part of this program, 
fundamentally is the same. You can apply it to Shopify, Joomla, Drupal, e-commerce website, whatever it is, whatever website that you have, you can apply everything that you have learned exactly like the way you have learned in part, uh, as part of this program, you can go ahead and apply it to any platform out there, right? So it can be used as a full-fledged website as well. So you don't have to worry about it at all. So WordPress has plenty of SEO benefits also, which is why we recommend, you know, set up a WordPress website, which is why we not recommend, we set it up on a WordPress website. Everything that you'll be learning will be as part of a WordPress. The themes, the plugins, everything that you'll be receiving will be applied, can be applied and installed only on a WordPress website. You can't use it for any other website out there, right? So these are the reasons why we'll be setting up a WordPress website. Does that make sense? Uh, everybody clear? Just type in CC in the chat box if that all of these things that I just mentioned is crystal clear to you guys. Brilliant. Fantastic. Now, since we spoke about hosting and domain name and all of those things, it's very important for you guys to know what all of this actually means. This is not part of the program and all of those things, but I really want you to understand what hosting is, what domain name is, and what all of these, uh, you know, uh, names and technical terms actually mean. It doesn't necessarily mean that it is meant for SEO, but even then it's good to know knowledge, right? So let me give you a quick brief about what a domain name is, what hosting is. First, let's try to understand what hosting is. Now a hosting, what you can see here on the right hand side is a web host or a server is a computer where your website files are stored. That's it. It's as simple as that. A host is nothing but a computer which is connected to an internet where all of your website files are installed and stored over there, right? Now, every time you need to access any website, you send a request from your browser. You go to your browser, type it in www.google.com, sensational.com, facebook.com, whatever that you're doing, you send a request from your browser to that host so that your computer and browser like Chrome can actually like, you know, show you that particular website and all the files that has been stored on that particular host. But the problem is the host server, which is basically a computer connected to the internet, can be accessed only through what is called as an IP address, exactly like how you have your address for your home and offices and all of those things, because there are millions and millions of computers connected to the internet all over the world, every computer has something called as an IP address, which looks something like this, 173.194.121.32, right? So this is how an IP address of that particular computer looks like. And this can be your host, uh, the web server's IP address as well. Do you think if you had to go out there and access your website like this, would you be able to remember it, a number like this? Just let me know in the chat box. Give me a quick yes or no in the chat box. Absolutely not, right? It's become so much, so difficult for you to remember such so many numbers in exactly that manner. So which is why we have something called as name servers, okay? Name servers help connect domain names with the IP address of the web service. Now, these are called as DNS records and are also called as the phone book of the internet. Now, a domain name is nothing but a human readable address of your website address. That's it. That is the only thing you need to know about a domain name and a hosting, right? So exactly like how if somebody comes and gives you their phone number, what do you do, right? You take their name, you uh, save their name, you save their phone number. Now, every time you want to call them, what you do is this, you look for their name. You don't look for the number, you look for the name on your phone and just click on the name and your phone basically matches that name with the phone number which has been stored and dials that particular number. Exactly like that, instead of typing an IP address, you basically type a domain name in your browser like www.google.com and then basically what the name servers connects that domain name with the IP address of your server so that your website can be served to you and everybody else out there in the world. Makes sense? Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, right? This is how a very basic fundamental way, uh, a fundamental level at which your domain name and hosting works like. Just type in MS in the chat box if all of these things make sense. Now, the reason why I'm telling you is so that you know all of this information. This not necessarily won't be part of won't necessarily be part of the entire HIT SEO program, but it's important for you to know, especially when it comes to a domain name, right? So now when you are choosing a domain name, 
you need to keep a few things in mind okay so you will be registering a domain name today so when you are going out there not today basically by tomorrow so what you need to keep in mind while you are choosing a domain name is make sure you try to go for a dot com domain name there are different variations of what is called as a tld top level domain dot com dot co dot in dot co dot uk dot net dot org and all of those kind of things right there you have different options but as much as possible go for a dot com now just because you have to go for a dot com doesn't necessarily mean that that particular dot com is available exactly like just because you want a certain phone number that phone number is not available right so you might want to change a little bit about your domain name but try to get a dot com as much as possible because a dot com has a slight advantage in terms of seo and also when it comes to like website every time you think about a website everybody just thinks about a dot com would you guys agree with that just type in a in the chat box if you guys agree with that right so since everybody just like thinks about a dot com whenever you mention a website try to go for a dot com as much as possible also it gives you a slight seo advantage over all the other tlds as well if you cannot no matter what you do if you are not able to get a dot com after trying it a lot only after trying a lot then you can probably go for a dot co dot in or dot org or dot net or things like that okay but as much as possible please make sure please try to go for a dot com domain name now while when you are registering your domain name also keep your domain name under 15 characters okay try to keep it under 15 characters as much as possible and try to avoid numbers in your domain name anybody wants to take a guess why that is why you should try to avoid numbers in your domain name Let's see if anybody can get that. Not spam. SEO friendly. Yeah, it's also not SEO friendly. People, yeah, numerical versus alphanumerical, right? So when you say, for example, have the number nine, people won't know whether it's the number nine, the numerical nine, or the word nine, right? So try to avoid numbers in your domain name as much as possible. But if you want to, for some reason, use it in your domain name, please go ahead and use it okay but as much as possible try to avoid numbers and try to keep it simple as possible don't try to be extra creative uh, you know with your domain names and all of those things and make sure it passes what is called as the phone test if you are telling somebody your domain name say for example over the phone right if they say can you please repeat it or can you please spell it out that means that they did not understand it that means that it is not simple enough right if i over the phone if I say my domain name is sanjayshanoy.com, people understand it. People don't ask me, hey, can you spell it out for me and things like that, right? Probably they might ask for to spell out my last name, but that's about it. But I can't change my last name now, so it's fine. But does that make sense? Make sure it's as simple as possible. So simple that if you say it out loud, people will be easily able to understand what that is, okay? And also make sure when you write it, it looks fine. Look at all of these domain fails, right? It's crap.com. It is actually IT scrap, right? These kind of things like happen, speed of art, uh, you know, therapist finder, all of these things. When you when you say it out loud, it finds it sounds good, but when you write it, it looks very funny and like you know, it might become like a disaster for you guys, right? So try not to like create disasters like this when you're going for a domain name. I'll be sharing this slide deck. You can go through this checklist while you're going through the, your domain name registration as well. So you don't worry, you don't have to make mistakes like this as such, okay? Now, what do you think you need before you decide on a domain name? What do you need to know before you go there and choose a domain name? Does anyone want to take a guess? Yes, Malika Arjun, yes, Vivek, yes, Ajira, yes, Sumati. Wow. Oh, uh, you guys are able to see my uh, slide deck. No wonder. Anyway, nice guess regardless. Before choosing your domain name, you need to know your niche. Now, what is a niche? Can anyone tell me? Yep, your niche will help you decide the domain name. Skills plus passion, area of specialization, topic, a specific area of interest, your segment of target audience, that's good. Sub market of a market, unique interest, 
skill plus passion plus market, that's a good way to put it. Differentiation of audience, that's also correct. Talent plus passion plus market, that's also good. Market demands, that's also good. Sub-market of a sub-market of a market. Yes, very simply put, it's a sub-market of a sub-market of a market. Of course, you know, if you want to say that, hey, when I'm choosing a sub-market of a sub-market of a market, I need to make sure I like it, right? It is aligned with what skills I have. If I actually love it, if I'm passionate about that particular thing, and if the market needs it, right? So that is also one very good way to put it. But other way to look at it is a niche market is a subset of the market on which a specific product or website in your case is focused upon. Subset of a subset of a market, to be very honest, right? Niche is a very small pocket of demand. Whenever I say, what is your niche? People say digital marketing. Digital marketing is not a niche. It's a massive, huge industry. That's not what a niche is. And then sometimes people say, yoga is my niche. Stock market is my niche. Or interior designing is my niche. Things like that. These are not niches. These are massive markets. Okay, I'll tell you how to like arrive at your niche. But I just want to make sure that these are not niches. These are actually big, massive markets. Again, lead, lead generation is not your niche, right? So those, those kind of things cannot be your niche. Now, what is a niche? Now, before you understand, to, uh, before you understand uh, what a niche is, what exactly a niche is, can anyone assume or guess rather why you should be going niche? Does anyone want to take a guess? To be a category leader, wow, yeah. Narrow down audience, lessen the competition, yes. To focus, yes. What else? People want specialists. Big fish in a small pond, great way to put it. Top in the category. Because we're not good at everything, that's also correct, Arpita. Master of a small audience, yes. To capture the uniqueness of a market, to have an unfair advantage, very, very good answers. Less competition. Because you cannot serve everyone. That's also true. Specific. The specific is terrific. To be a specialist. Right? So all of these reasons are absolutely correct. The first and most important reason is if everybody is your audience, then nobody is your audience. Please make sure you remember this always. Uh, regardless of whether it is SEO, your business, your marketing, or whatever it is. If everybody is your audience, then nobody is your audience. As counterintuitive, as, as counterproductive it might seem, if you try to target everybody, then you will not please anybody. Okay? Please keep this in mind. You, if you say that, because I've spoken to many, many, many people out there, business owners, startup founders, uh, uh, SEO professionals, blah, 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 things like that. But whenever I ask them, who is your target audience? They're like, you know what? Everybody who's in the age group of 18 to 60 is my target audience. Do you really think an 18-year-old has the same kind of objectives, goals, desires as a 60-year-old? Let me know in the chat box. Right? Do you think the challenges faced by an 18-year-old is the same as a 60-year-old? So if it is not, how can your website, how can your content, how can your product, how can your offering solve both these people's problems? At least when you're starting off, probably later on, you can like diversify and solve all of these people's problems. But at least when you're getting started off, don't you think if you focus on a very specific set of audience, it becomes so much more easier for you to solve their problems? Let me know in the chat box, give me a quick yes or no. Right? When you know exactly who your audience is, it becomes so much more easier for you to understand what exactly they want and what their problems are so that you are able to provide accurate and precise solutions to their problems. That is why you need to make sure you go niche and not say that, hey, you know what, everybody from 18 to 60 is my niche. Now, from a marketing perspective, what you are trying to do is you are aiming for category leadership. So the term category leadership was coined by these two people called Al Rice and Jack Trout. Very, very 
uh, in this book called 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing. I'll be sending you the link for that also. Don't worry about it, right? So what they said was a better way to explain all of these things is a simple manner. Anybody knows who the first person to land on the moon was? No. Wow, Ajira, at least you're honest. Neil Armstrong. Great. Now, without Googling, real quick, who was the second person to land on the moon? See, a lot of people said no idea and a lot of people are getting it wrong. Buzz Aldrin was the second person, right? How is that you remember the first person you went on the moon, but not the second person who actually accompanied him? Why don't you know him? Why don't you remember him? Because since Neil Armstrong was the first person to land on the moon, he was the category leader in that. Right? So he was the category leader in that. And once you become the category leader, you automatically not only get a lot more market share, but you also get mind share as well. So what is the best way to go out there and become a category leader? Can anyone tell me? What is the best way to become a category leader? Some of you who might have attended my last week's session might know this. What is the best way to become? Start a new category. Create a new category. Create a new niche. Choose a new niche. That's what you're going to do. Carve out a niche. You don't have to create a new niche also. You carve out a niche for yourself. That's what you're doing. Who was the first female prime minister of India? Indira Gandhi, right? How is that you know the third prime minister of the this country, even if she was not the first prime minister of this country? She could not have become the first prime minister of the country because Nehru was the first prime minister of this country. But even then, what she did was she carved out a niche for herself. She created a category for herself saying that, hey, among the female prime ministers, I am the first. In fact, not just the first, the only. So which is why don't try to be the best, be the only. By being the only, you automatically become the category leader. Therefore, you automatically be on top of people's mind. And therefore, you have a much better chance of winning out there. Right? So the easiest way to go out there and become a category leader is to create a new category for yourself. And the best way to go about doing that is to address a very small pocket of the audience. Very small pocket. Very specific set of people who have a very specific set of problems so that you can solve their problems to them. Right, which is why it is very, very important that you achieve this is from a marketing perspective. Even from an SEO perspective, what you're doing is you're aiming for the small pockets of demand and rank very easily because you'll have almost non-existent competition out there. I always keep telling people, don't try to rank with your ego. Try to rank with logic, with the right strategy. People keep saying that SEO is dead, SEO is dead. SEO is not dead. Your approach to SEO is dead. That is what is dead. You are trying to go out there being a newbie, outrank all of these people who have been around for like 10, 15 years. Of course, SEO is dead for you. SEO is never going to work for you because of this reason. So what you need to be doing in terms of SEO as well, you'll be learning it in session two, in keyword research and all of those things, assessing the small pockets of demand. I'll give you a small brief idea about how to do that in today's session as well. But then... These are the reasons why you should be going niche. Does that make sense? Just type in MS in the chat box if you know why it is so important for you guys to go niche. Okay, fantastic. Brilliant. Now let's try to find or understand how to find your niche. How do you find it? So what you need to understand is that broadly speaking, everything falls under three main industries. Health, wealth, and relationships. Everybody is trying to be healthy. Everybody is trying to be wealthy. Everybody is trying to have good relationships. How many people agree with all of these things? Health, wealth, and relationships. These are the three main industries. Right? So these are industries where people are providing solutions to the market. You need to find a market within any of these industries. Then you find a sub-market in these industries. If you can't, 
mix two markets to get a sub market i'll tell you how to do all these things just absorb for now okay and add a layer of demographic data and add an objective if necessary okay i'll give you an example you will try to understand what it all of how all of these things actually matter right and how to actually arrive at this whole thing now let's try to see the industry of wealth now when it comes to the industry of wealth like everybody who is trying to learn seo and let's take the example of hit seo itself everybody who is like trying to learn seo in some way is trying to gain wealth would you guys agree with that if you are trying to be a you might be trying to get a job or trying to become a freelancer or apply to your own business or you know build your own personal brand whatever it is you are trying to make money now this is one pathway you have taken to make money there are multiple pathways but this is one pathway that you have taken to make money now in this industry well the bigger market is digital marketing now digital marketing is massive it has seo social media marketing automation email marketing paid ads analytics all of these things are there within that is my sub market of seo now of course in that sub market also i am going to carve out a niche for myself saying that i am going to target only people who are new to digital marketing can speak english because this program is taught in english and have disposable income because it has some considerable amount of investment that you need to make right and in that who want to achieve results with seo by practically implementing seo not just by consuming more knowledge about seo this is the market that i am going for all you 135 people here today fall in this category would you guys agree with that right now you saw how from the wealth industry i came to the digital marketing market and in that my sub market was seo in that my i called out a niche saying that people who are new to digital marketing can speak english have disposable income and in that i am targeting people who want to learn it practically and not just theoretical knowledge and get results because of that right so this is the niche that i am going after this is a niche not seo see how smaller it became compared to this particular entire sub market of seo or compared to this entire market of digital marketing it is so much more smaller small pocket of demand 135 people is nothing compared to how many people actually want to learn seo would you guys agree with that many 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 people out there today in this country want to learn seo right but i am going after the small pocket of demand just 135 people out of the thousands of people or probably lakhs of people who want to learn seo because i want to make sure they fit the certain criteria who are new to digital marketing can speak english have disposable income to invest in this program and who want to learn it practically and invest time effort energy for the next 10 weeks that is the target market that i'm going for another way to look at it let's take a look at the again the wealth industry right so in the wealth industry the market is jobs now people want jobs in different ways someone wants to become a doctor an engineer an architect ultimately they'll all come to digital marketing only anyway Just kidding by the way so you know in that job market the sub market is digital marketing jobs in that digital marketing job sub market students who want to get into digital marketing just students not people who are already professional students who want to get into dm jobs now if i add a demographic layer to it saying that boys and girls or men and women between the age of 18 to 22 from metro cities who are into engineering but want to get into a digital marketing job now did you see how i scraped out and carved out a small market i am not going after everyone who wants to get a digital marketing job i am not going after everyone who wants uh, you know, only students who want it but not all kinds of students only engineering students from metropolitan cities who want to get into a digital marketing job now the what i'll be teaching as part of this program will be the same right i'm not going to teach them something different but my positioning changes the way i position myself changes that way everyone in this particular niche will be better in a better position to relate to me engage with me communicate with me 
right? My marketing communication also changes because I know what their problems are, what people who are into engineering, what their problems are, so that while I'm communicating, while I'm selling, I can communicate properly. And also think about all of these people who are in the engineering college, talking amongst themselves. They might be like, you know, they might be sitting in the canteen bunking class and think that, hey man, I hate engineering. I don't want to continue this. I think I should get into digital marketing. Where do you think I should go learn it from? Assuming that I'm targeting this niche, someone might have come across my communication. They'll be like, hey, you know what? You should probably check out this guy, Sanjay Shanoi, who actually helps engineering students to get into a digital marketing field. Mindshare, category leader. Many, many people out there are actually teaching people how to learn digital marketing plus get into jobs, but I am targeting a very specific set of audience. Does that make sense? Just type in MS in the chat box if that makes sense. Small pocket of demand. Now, how do you assess on a very broad level, how do you assess what the demand out there is? Does anyone want to broad level give me a niche so that I can give you guys an understanding of how to go for it, how to understand or assess the demand. Skincare, let's go for skincare, okay? Or home gyms, let's go for home gyms, right? So let's go for home gyms. And now this is a very broad level still, but what I'm doing at this point of time is trying to see from an SEO perspective if there is a demand out there in the market. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'll be sending you the link to this particular tool. You'll be using this tool a lot. And in today's session, you'll be using it for just a little bit, just to assess the demand of this whole thing. Say for example, home gyms. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to come to this tool, put in home gyms at a very broad level. Okay, don't become, don't go too specific. At this point, you're just trying to assess the demand of this market. And then you'll be able to see all the different, um, you know, how much volume is there, home gyms for sale, how effective are home gyms and all of these kind of things, right? Uh, or say home workout. Right, did you see the difference in home gyms and home workout? 8,500 is the search volume. This is the number of people who are looking for the term home workout every single month. Previously, it was just 50, right? But look at this. Immediately, we are niching down in this particular data itself. Home workout for men, 1,300. Look at this beautiful thing. Gym equipment for home workout, 700. You are automatically niching down. You will be able to actually go out there and identify and assess your niche very effectively. And therefore, once you identify and assess the demand of your niche, then you can go ahead and register your domain name. Does this make sense? What you're doing is you're trying to assess the demand by looking at the volume. The volume basically tells the number of people looking for these terms on Google every single month in India. Right? So before you go out there and decide on your domain name, just do this on a very broad level. See what the demand is. And if you have enough demand, more than enough, probably 300, 400, it should have some demand. For some things, it might actually like, forget about volume, less volume, more volume, all of that, forget about it right now, okay? The only thing you're assessing right now is whether there is demand or not. It's a simple binary question, yes or no, that's it. Then we will talk about how to do keyword research for these kind of things and all in session number two onwards. Okay, does that make sense for everyone? Because what happens, the mistake that I want you guys to avoid later on is that I don't want you guys to like go out there and like register your domain name and then figure out that, you know what, there's no demand only in the market. What is the point of doing SEO for this? That shouldn't be the case. So which is why assess the demand for your niche, see if there is enough people looking for the solutions, then go out there and create a domain name around this particular thing. Right? So this is the reason I'll be sharing the link to this particular tool also. You need to assess your niche before you go out and register your domain name. Speaking of registering your domain name, 
I'll quickly walk you guys through how to register your domain name using godaddy.com. Please use GoDaddy and GoDaddy alone. Just to save some 150 rupees, don't go for other domain name registrars because in the next session, you'll be needing to update the name servers and all of those kind of things. And um, so which is why just to be on the same page forever, make sure you go for GoDaddy, okay? Mitra is asking, can we create new demand? So that's a good question, although I would not uh, have answered the question right now, but it's very important that I, that I address this question right now. SEO as a marketing channel is a demand fulfillment platform or a demand fulfillment channel. You are identifying the existing demand out there in the market and fulfilling an existing demand out there in the market. Demand generation platforms are also out there. Say, for example, Facebook ads, wherein you are generating the demand. Right? So Facebook ads is demand generation. SEO is demand fulfillment. Pull, push. Does that make sense? Mitra and everyone else also. SEO is a demand fulfillment platform and not a demand generation platform. So which is why before you get into SEO and all of these things, you need to make sure there is an inherent demand out there in the market. Okay? Somebody give me a, a domain name if you want to go there and uh, I'll show you guys all the steps that you have to follow to go out there and register a domain name on godaddy.com and godaddy.com alone. Any domain name you might have already thought about. Anjalidivari.com. Okay, let's go with that. Anjalidivari.com. I don't think it will be available, but let's see. Not available. Anything else? Nail it digitally.com. I like it. Nail it digitally.com. All right. Nail it digitally.com is available. So once it is available, like you saw, the previous domain name was not available. Either you try to see how you can change it a little bit or go for a more generic name like something like nail it digitally.com. Things like this, you need to go for it. And then what you do is if it is available, then you click on, uh, like I said, if .com is not available, try to see if you can modify it a little bit and then go for a .com. And then you can, if you don't want to do that, like I said, .com definitely has a slight advantage over other, uh, the, this thing like .in, .co.in and all of those things. If you don't want to do all of that modifications, then only then you can go for a .in. Okay, now you click on add to cart. Noel, like I said, your domain name, what you have, might not be accurate for the niche. Like I said, you have to identify your niche and assess the demand first, which is also why I'm saying the other reason why I'm saying the set up a new domain name is because of that. Your existing domain name might not have satisfied all of that criteria because of which you might not get the kind of results that you should be getting. Right, which is why identify a niche, assess the demand, and then go for a domain name. Now, once you do this, you'll be like something like this you'll get. Click on one year. So, if you want to go for two years, you can go for two years as well. If you want to do uh, one year, you can go for one year as well. Right, then you click on looks good, keep going. Now, very important, pay attention. GoDaddy is notorious for selling you things that you absolutely don't need. Okay, select no for pretty much everything that comes after this, except the actual domain name itself. Does that make sense? Everybody heard that? If you heard that, just type in MS in the chat box. Okay, so make sure if you want to uh, do it for like two years, three years, four years, and all of those things is absolutely okay, but don't select all of these things. They just sell you unnecessary crap that you don't need at all. So I'll show you. They'll say domain protection, no thanks. You can unselect this, but this doesn't make a difference. Professional email at 29 rupees per month, no thanks. Then click on continue to cut. Right? So again, just make sure if it's one year or two years, whatever you want to do it. Ideally, I would recommend doing it for just one year. And again, they'll try to sell you this domain protection, blah, 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 and all of those kind of things. And then after that, click on ready to pay. 
and then you can just like go with any of the uh, you know payment options that you have right so um, uh, don't worry suraj we'll be giving you wpx hosting cloudflare works with that don't worry about it okay so this is how you do it you can change it to two year two years later if you want to also very simple way to go out there and register a domain name does that make sense to everyone all you need to do is identify your niche assess your demand go to godaddy see if that domain name is available if it is available book it for one years or two years deselect everything and then like go out there and register your domain name once you make the payment just keep it like that i will tell you the next steps later on once the domain name has successfully been registered you need to fill up the form that i'll be sending you on email tomorrow as long as you do that you'll be ready for next week's session does that make sense right simple right does anyone want to take a go at uh, what your niche is actually you know what don't do it just think about it but when you think about it please make sure it is very very specific look at how specific this whole thing is okay so you need to make sure the demographics is very clearly defined where they are from who they are what do they want to achieve all of these things please keep in mind when you are identifying your niche once you have once you are very clear about this then you go out there and assess the demand and after that is when you register your domain name does that make sense Just type in ms in the chat box if that makes sense anmol spiritualism what is it it's not a niche it's so huge spiritualism for who you have to be very clear who is it from where are they from what are they trying to achieve all of these things yes you can buy domain name on your name mutual funds is not a niche mandar mutual funds is not a niche who is it for how are you going to help them everything sport also is can be a niche but what about that sport you can add name and freelancer as well no problem with that right insurance is not a niche insurance is a massive market this is exactly what i was talking about try to answer this question of niche like this men and women aged between the uh, between the age of 18 to 22 from metro cities who are into engineering but want a digital marketing job wordpress is not a niche spiritualism for beginners is not a niche gadgets is not a niche try to answer this question like this who is it for what is their age where are they from what do they want to achieve good 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 i got some good one here avinash private tutors commerce tutors who are trying to expand their business during the lockdown that's a good niche good one mutual funds for hni that's pretty good try to be a little more specific also freelancer for youngsters be more specific guys what are you giving two words for i'm telling you clearly go for a specific demographic who are you doing it for what do you mean electric vehicles who is this for is it for men is it for women is it for 18 year olds is it for 25 year olds is it for 30 year olds is it for people living in metro cities is it for people living in the tier 2 cities towns villages what do they want to achieve using these electric vehicles be clear be very specific extremely specific age group cannot be broad helping tech startups saas companies gain initial traction on google that's good you don't need to have expertise for you to select a niche okay abhishek parekh a group of women aged between 24 to 35 from united states looking for gemstone jewelry that is a good niche you can probably reduce the range of your age but that is a good example of a good niche women aged between 24 to 30 you can say for example from united states looking for gemstone jewelry very very good insurance for student no nope. try again wedding photography no nope. try again graduates and pg students who want to clear marketing concept through case that's good 
health wellness brand for 40 to 80 you really think the same health issues will have between 40 to 80 no try again Pawan Chabra, content marketing workshops for aspiring writers aged between 18 to 30 to build a side hustle. That's good, but reduce your age. Organic skincare for men. Nope. What kind of men? Who are these people? Where are they from? What do they want to achieve? What is organic? SEO service for businesses in the travel industry. Namika, restaurant, cafe owners, food styling and photography. That's a good niche. Just try to see if you can add a location to it also. Hostelers aged between 18 to 30 who want to cook their own food in hostel with less utensils. Fantastic niche. Amazing niche. Arpita, that's a great niche. See how specific the problem is. See how specific the use case is. Hostelers aged between 18 to 30 might be a little broad in terms of the age. Probably you can say 18 to 24 because I'm not sure more hostelers live beyond that. But anyway, hostelers aged between 18 to 30 who want to cook their own food in hostel with less utensils. That's a great niche. How to attain flawless skin, says Jitan. Who's this for? Yoga at home for age 25 to 45, male and female with back pain issue. That's pretty good, but probably lower the age group. DIY arts and craft kits for children aged between 4 to 15 years. That's good. Emotional trauma and regrets released for men and women aged between age of 25 to 45 from Indian metros, USA, Europe, Australia, and Southeast. Might as well say the whole world, though. No? It was like going good, but afterwards it kind of like went sideways. Content writer, freelancer for business owners in health, finance, and fitness. Too, too broad. Travelers in age group of 40 to 50 looking for experiential holidays in Assam, Meghalaya, and Arunachal Pradesh. Fantastic, Abhijit. Looks great. Sounds great. Business owners in real estate industry aged between 24 to 45 who have a sales team of 10 people in metro cities in India. Look how beautiful that is. How specific that is. Fitness product and solutions for people who are working from home during COVID. Achut, amazing. Yoga for weight loss. Who's this for? Problems facing by teenagers 13 to 17. What kind of problems? Where are these teenagers from? Mutual fund portfolio management for IT professionals between 25 to 35 with no finance knowledge. Mandar, great job. See how much more better it sounds than just saying mutual funds. Mutual funds portfolio management for IT professionals is between 25 to 35 with no finance knowledge. That's so much more better. Now, while you are doing this, while you're assessing the demand out there in the market, you don't necessarily have to assess the demand for mutual fund portfolio management for IT professionals, right? You can just assess the demand for mutual funds, but all of your communication, your content is going to be for mutual fund portfolio management for IT professionals. Does that make sense for everybody and Mandar also? Art lovers looking for ancient and modern marble statue manufacturers in Jaipur. Brilliant. Assignment help website for Indian students studying in the US and UK between 20 to 30 years. Brilliant power. Fund then help existing and upcoming industrial hemp startups with digital marketing and spreading awareness of industrial hemp amongst youngsters. Brilliant. Super. Terrace farming for housewives aged 30 to 55 in metro cities. That's good. You can probably reduce the age group, but that's really good. Lead generation for SaaS product companies in California, USA. Very good. Arunava, travelers in age group of 23 to 40 looking for cheap holiday destinations in Europe. Super. Probably reduce the age group.
personality development training for rural youth of bihar very good project writing service anyway so the point is clear right does that make sense do you guys see the difference of going niche how specific it is triathlon advice for men based 35 to 44 based in us female students from mumbai belonging to age group of 18 to 21 suffering from social anxiety disorder during lockdown great stuff shanta great job everyone look at how amazing your niche is sounding already local seo services for dermatologists based in mumbai and having an existing clinic for a minimum of 2 years superb manish superb okay enough with all of your niches enough stop you don't have to decide right now go home sleep over it think about it but now does it make sense what i mean by being as specific as possible does that make sense just type in ms in the chat box if it now makes sense what being niche is what going niche is going after that small pocket of demand right so i saw someone like shanta i guess it was right so the, shanta is going after females for uh, going after women who are aged between 18 to 21 facing social anxiety disorders now when you are assessing the demand for this particular thing you can just look for social anxiety in women right but your communication in your blog will change does that make sense shanta and everyone else just type in ms in the chat box if that makes sense the niche is for you to improve your positioning later on we'll find keywords which are specifically meant for that but improving your positioning identifying this niche is very very important spiritualism for men and women 20 to 50 is too too broad to know who they are very good what is their purpose of life and what to gain from being spiritualistic look at it and more you read it again so much more better right than saying just spiritualism now you know who you are talking to the moment you know who your niche is you will know who you are talking to if you know who you are talking to your communication automatically becomes clearer would you guys agree or not agree with that just type in a for agree na for not agree if you know exactly who your audience is you know exactly what their problems are the moment you know exactly what their problems are it becomes easier for you to address their problems create better content engaging content seo optimized content thank you indrani i want to make sure everybody is on the same page when it's about niche it sounds easy when you look at it but almost everyone makes a mistake with this right so again think about it tonight sleep over it tomorrow morning when you wake up decide exactly what your niche is be extremely specific and then figure out your niche create assess the demand for it not necessarily for that niche but for the broader market and then register a domain name and keep it ready does that make sense how was the orientation session are you guys clear with a bunch of different things do you guys think that you are off to a great start you'll be getting the recordings as well don't worry about it at all okay high intensity start indeed it's only going to get better from here don't worry about it i quickly answer some of the questions that you might have uh, why only god idea is suggesting just to be on the safer side guys we let us all register our domain names on god idea that's it no other reason okay you'll be getting the recording slide decks everything by tomorrow morning don't worry about it yes this program can help you in international countries anywhere out there in the world don't worry about it the blog can be converted into a website later on yes domain name cannot be changed later but you can buy another domain name and set up a new blog on that should your domain name be niche specific as much as possible but don't try to like you know confine it to your niche too much also
you will be getting it in your email by tomorrow morning then you can go out there So guys, doesn't matter if it's Wix, Shopify, or any other platform, fundamentally speaking, SEO is the same, okay? Just like apply all of these things that you'll be learning in this session to any website out there. You'll know by the end of 10 weeks, don't worry about it, okay? You can definitely use your, uh, continue using your experiment website also and make it your main website. Just go buy a new domain name, guys. It's so much more easier. You now know, right, how many mistakes you're making with the niche. So I don't, if your niche is only wrong, if you not use that thought process to arrive at your domain name, then everything you do from here will be a very, very uphill task for you. Does that make sense to you guys? Why I'm asking you to set up a new domain name right now after I went through this entire exercise of finding your niche, right? If you have not arrived at your niche by doing this exercise and therefore got in your domain name whatever you do from here will be a big problem so which is why try to figure out your niche and go for a new domain name as much as possible just like 400 500 bucks right just you paid 20,000 rupees for this program i'm sure you can spend another 500 rupees more to make sure you get better results you can keep it as your name as well no problem with that Uh, there won't be any session this Friday, but we'll see. If you guys need any help, we'll let you know. Yes, UPI ID of Paytm will work. Now, this is only for uh, Indian residents. If you're outside, send us an email. We'll help you with that. Will incomplete assignments get an extension? You can submit using the late submission link, but not an extension. WhatsApp links will be shared. All the links will be shared tomorrow. You'll be learning what GMB is. Don't worry about it. Domain name, you have to register and submit it by uh, Thursday. I'll extend it till Thursday, okay? Because once you register your domain name and submit it, we have to make sure you set up the hosting and all of that for that, okay? Google Analytics on a basic level will be covering Suraj. This is an SEO program. We'll be focusing more on that. Yes, for now you can use the plugins and themes only on this particular website, Mandar. Forget about AdSense, affiliate marketing and all of that right now. Focus on SEO, just SEO. For the next 10 weeks, even if I wake you up at 2 a.m., you should just be talking about SEO. Guys, if you have a domain name hosting elsewhere, just get a new domain name. How many times should I tell you guys? Stop asking the same question. Go out there and just get a new domain name because even if you have a domain name, your niche might be wrong. If your niche is wrong, whatever you do for the next 10 weeks is going to be absolutely useless. Meena, I already spoke about this. You wait for the next 10 weeks. You'll understand what, how to go about doing everything, okay? All right. I think I've answered most of the questions, uh, you know. Bunch of them are like just repeated questions. I'm just gonna like, uh, after the program, can I call myself a pro? You can call whatever you want to yourself. You can call yourself Iron Man also. Depends on the results you get. Don't worry guys, you're just getting started with your orientation today. That's it, today is just orientation. You will be learning. I know it can be overwhelming. I know it might be a little intimidating for some people. Don't worry about it. For now, just do what has been told to you. Just focus on that. As long as you just focus on that and keep on doing that, 
you'll be in a bet, much better position to implement SEO. Does that make sense? Just type in one last time MS in the chat box. Okay, step by step. Don't worry about what do I do later? What will happen for the team? What about analytics? What about AdSense? Learn SEO first, step by step. Slowly, steadily, step by step. Okay, I will take you through that entire process. Don't worry about it. Forget about everything else for now. Follow the instructions and then we'll take it from there. Okay, I hope you guys found this uh, session valuable. I hope you guys found this session useful. You'll be getting all the links to uh, uh, everything that has been mentioned in today's session by tomorrow morning on email. You'll be getting the links to the WhatsApp groups also on email. You can join the WhatsApp groups and then we'll take it from there. So um, anybody who has not paid the balance payment, please make sure you pay the balance payment by tomorrow. And like, you know, make sure like, you know, if you want to continue in this program, you have to make sure you uh, go through it. Otherwise, we will not allow you to register for the program at all. You will not be getting anything for that matter. If you have not made the balance payment, not EMI payment, balance payment, anybody who has made a deposit of 1,000 rupees, if you want to convert it into an EMI, we can help you convert it into an EMI. Or if you want to make the balance payment as well, you can go out there and make the balance payment. Right? So don't worry about the rest of the things. We will like uh, make sure we are going to be there the next 10 weeks is going to be absolutely amazing for you guys. I can assure you about that. And it's going to be a very, very exciting journey for every one of you who's going to be involved. You're going to be also making a lot of new friends, a lot of new collaborations and achieving amazing things for the next 10 weeks. I am super excited for you, for myself and the whole team of HIT SEO. So one last time, thank you so much for um, signing up for HIT SEO and trusting in us. We want to make sure that we are going to make this 10 weeks very, very fruitful, very, very valuable and extremely useful for you guys. So thank you so much for attending this orientation session. I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys next Tuesday. I'll be sending an email tomorrow morning with all the details. Thank you so much. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Good night.